turn your blood, flesh, and bones black. And quite literally, cut your head off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Funny thing. Bleach is back. Peak is back, baby. I, I love to see it. Core 3 has officially gotten started. Man, I, yeah, I'm a couple days late on my reaction, but it's mostly because I am actually terrified of TV Tokyo. <laughs> so, the entire episode, man, the entire episode, I'm just thinking in my head, how am I going to film this? <laughs> Look at Grimjow chasing Askin. I was seeing that clip a lot on Twitter. Oh my God. So it doesn't get taken down. Like, how am I going to film this and share these moments of me enjoying this show? That is honestly, Bleach has always been in my top, if not five, top 10, you know, probably right next to Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, he got the, <laughs> he has regained the power of the plot itself. I, I really like, have always felt something with bleach when it comes to the big three yeah i never really gave one piece its fair chance i mean i did give it 35 episodes which is about 10 hours of content and it still didn't capture me but i mean well listen whatever between naruto and bleach i read those religiously okay i read those religiously in high school and there was just something different about Bleach that really resonated with me always. And so seeing it come to fruition and finally like reading the end of the manga years ago and then having this really surreal moment of listening to the music, watching these characters, like it just, it kind of hit me some, you know, somewhere real deep. Blood Oath has been broken. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. She said, do you think you can escape my Bankai? Oh. Ooh. Although seeing it seeing it in the anime is so cool. I remember reading these panels and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Although it's a waste of squad zero, I'm not gonna lie. But this whole episode, man, it's kinda it's I said it in my video, it's kinda rough because as I'm watching this story unfold and seeing what's happening to these characters, I reminisce on when I read them in the manga. My least favorite thing about Ichibe is how smug he is. Like, I, I get that he's extremely powerful, but like, there's just, there's, there's just no beating him. The one who will rob you of everything and quite literally cut your head off. Oh my gosh. And there's just certain things about certain characters that really, really irk me. Number one, specifically, and I said it in my reaction, um, Ichibe, man. Ichibe, I get, I get that he's so, so powerful that, like, his, his, his power is beyond imagination. I get that. I get that. You couldn't have imagined the extent of the difference in our power. You will bear the weight of the lives of all the soul reapers you've killed and be crushed to death like the black ant that you are. Ah, Bigfoot! <laughs> but of course the one counter to his power is the almighty. Of course, it's Yuha, man. His, his actual ability to just call on plot. Like, that's his ability. If there was ever a, a counter, that would be it. It would be plot itself. So, I, I mean, it does suck to see Squad Zero kind of go out the way that they do. I'm, of course, I wasn't happy about it in the manga. I thought it was going to extend in the anime. I really did. I thought, I thought there was going to be a little bit more to it, but... Uh, I, guess, I guess not, where they're really saving the real fight for Ichigo and Uryu and, and actually Yuok too. So, you know, uh, one thing I will say is I I said this also in my reaction. Like, if you guys want to see the full reaction, I'm not sure how I'm going to upload it or what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do like a Patreon or something like that. I'm not sure. This shit is so cool, bro. Bro can levitate. He can fly. He can float. He can teleport. What does he decide to do? He says... I'm going to dismantle the entire soul palace just so I can obnoxiously walk up here slow as fuck. <laughs> Bro is such a real nigga. It's crazy, man. 
the one thing I'm really looking forward to is is more of the show, man. Now, what? Listen, one thing I really, really, really can't wait for is the Kimpachi Bankai fight. Oh man, that's about to go crazy. I know this. I think this is the season where we're gonna get because I think there's already been confirmed a core four. Um, listen, I think. Getting Keys K's Bankai, that's going to be dope. Shun Sui's Bankai, bro, there's going to be so much dope shit. I can't wait. I can't wait. One episode is not enough. I need I need it all. I need it all right now. Uh, I definitely want to see the Bankais that we are missing. Keys K's Bankai is probably like my most anticipated right next to Shun Sui. And then, of course, we haven't even we haven't even gotten to the big bad Kimpachi himself yet. So, you know, I really, really, really looking forward to seeing that. I love to see it, man. I love to see more Bleach. I absolutely need it. Honestly, Bleach fans are eating this year. We got Rebirth of Soul. We got Core 3 coming back. Man, this is this is honestly too good to be true. If you're, if you're somebody like me who religiously plays Bleach Brave Souls, then yeah, that's getting a bunch of new characters too. Oh man, we, 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 we eating. And obviously everybody's talking about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Listen, we'll get to that eventually. It doesn't officially come out for us broke people for a couple more days. But don't worry, don't worry. Unk's gonna have some content, I promise. Um, I know I said that two months ago when I dropped that Doom video, but listen don't even worry about it don't even worry about it man we'll we'll get to it all right we'll get to it um make sure you guys like subscribe blah 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 all that good stuff